I've got a fake chin, a fake nose, and she's drawn my lips smaller. Today, Adele poses as an Adele impersonator. Ariana Grande's grandma steals the AMAs, and of course, there's more. Happy birthday, Miley Cyrus. Can't wait to find out what you're doing today. Happy Monday. As you probs already know, Adele's brand new album, 25, came out on Friday. Thanks to the Graham Norton show on the BBC, we have a video of Adele putting on a prosthetic nose, a prosthetic chin. She got smaller lips, different makeup, different voice, and she impersonated an Adele impersonator. I guess that's a thing in the UK. I have to put gloves on because of my tattoos. <laughs> no, I'm going to Jenny. It's very calm and slow. So she was auditioning for some fake gig along with these other Adele impersonators. I can't wait for the new album. Uh, new music will be so she's taking her time. <laughs> Try to say that to her face. <laughs> I have to say her acting was impressive. She faked that she was so nervous that she had to sit down. I'm actually feeling quite sick. Yeah. <sighs> I'm feeling a bit dizzy, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sure. I'm a bit nervous. I'll do it one more time. Okay. And the whole world is on. <laughs> oh, their reactions. Misty wisdom. This is such a genius idea and so heartwarming to watch. It's so cool to give back to people that idolize and sort of dedicate their lives in a way to Adele. Bravo. Insta, OMG. Oh, the American Music Awards were last night. One of the biggest moments of the night was shockingly from Megan Trainer, who performed her duet with Charlie Puth, Marvin Gaye. In the song, they sing about getting it on, and they did in fact get it on. At the end of the song, they just had this hardcore makeout session, but she cleared up the rumors as to if they were dating or not. On her Instagram, she posted this photo saying, about that ass grab dough at Charlie Puth, proud of you, Charlie, hashtag I'm single. So they're not dating, just a stunt for the song, and it worked. Weird is king. SNL's Thanksgiving skit on Saturday night was so good. So it was this typical family sitting around the Thanksgiving dinner table talking about stuff. And of course, ISIS came up and they couldn't really agree. But then Adele came on. Excuse me. She's a guest in our room. A lip sync battle always brings the family together. I'm gonna see if this works with my family on Thursday. And this skit ends with a fun hello music video parody. <laughs> More news from the AMAs last night, which by the way, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez hosted. She looked phenomenal. She did a great job. So Ariana Grande won the award for favorite female artist. And in her acceptance speech, she thanked her grandma. And now everyone's saying that her grandma stole the show. So her grandma was her date. This is what Ari said. Ariana. Yep, she was impersonating her grandma who told her that. Oh, Marjorie. King Ridge of the day. King Ridge of the day goes to Andrew L. He commented on last Thursday's episode on YouTube. You can comment too, it's easy. He said, at least followers of the Flying Spaghetti Monster don't kill people, hashtag flame war. So this is in response to a story I talked about where this woman put a pasta strainer on her head in her driver's license photo because she was part of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, which I think is sort of questioning religion in general. Thank you for commenting on that and not being scared and not bashing me in the process. I really appreciate that. Happy watching, happy Monday. Let me know what you guys thought of the American Music Awards last night. And if you missed that Thursday episode, just click that box on the left and it will take you there. Or click to the right for some totally random video that I put there every day. I choose it just for you.